Hello. Today I want to begin offering our heartfelt sympathy to the family of Anthony Torres Sanchez. Anthony was a 15-year-old, Vineland High School, played baseball, all-around great kid, who found himself in the wrong place and suffered death from gun violence last week. He died at our facility in Vineland, in our emergency room, with his family and our staff by his side, doing everything that we could. We know at the heart of this are the underlying cries for help, and we have to be vigilant, vigilant against the gun violence and vigilant about making sure that we're trying to help people access services they need so this violence doesn't erupt and we can find different ways to manage all of this anger. I also bring a heavy heart for my colleagues and friends. Um, the terrible tragedy that occurred at San Francis Hospital in Tulsa. You know, it's hard to get your head around the fact that the very place where healing is supposed to happen would also be the subject of violence, uh, gun violence and murder. We know that uh, at the core of what we do, we must make sure that we never lose sight of that healing and that opportunity to be there for our communities, to make sure that we can wrap our arms around families and around patients um, and, and figure out how to get them to that place of healing. At the core of that is making sure that we are engaged in the mental health of our immediate patients as well as their family members. And I'm really happy today to tell you about this wonderful story about one of our own heroes, one of our own nurses who saw the importance of being able to serve our family. The Bruno family found themselves um, awakened by Angela Bruno, who woke up in the middle of the night with abdominal pain that just made her scream out in pain. Her husband, John, quickly reacted, got in the car and drove her to the Elmer emergency room. It was clear that uh, she was in distress and was going to need emergency surgery for a ruptured colon. John, her husband, talked about, um, he knew he needed to be strong for his wife, but looking at her in all of that pain, not only did his heart start to break, but he could feel just mentally himself really starting to, to disintegrate. And quickly, nurse Marianne Harris stepped in, seeing not only her care for the patient, but her broader care for the family. She knew John needed to be strong. She knew that she needed to make sure she sat him down and gave him perspective. And we were so grateful to Nurse Harris for stepping in and understanding at that moment in time that her care was not only for her immediate patient, but the entire family. And that, I think, is what really distinguishes us, is making sure we never forget. And we never forget, honestly, because these are the people we live with day in and day out. These are our neighbors, our friends, and we have a commitment to make sure we go above and beyond. I'm thrilled to tell you the Bruno family, everybody is home and well and, uh, and on the way to healing. And we are so grateful to have been in that process with them and so grateful to Marianne Harris for her continued great work. June celebrates um, Pride Month and Pride Month specifically calls out the need to support and understand um, the unique needs of those LGBTQ individuals. Um, we walk with them and have begun to hear from them about the need for unique services within our community and within our programs to support them and be able to make sure that they can live um, lives that are protected from discrimination, um, not facing violence or in any way hostility, and understand that they are equal parts of our community. And so we celebrate them and the great work that they are doing in our communities, as well as um, our continued support of them. Until we meet again, be well and stay safe.